This is my first ever Natasha Denona palette and I am so excited to play around with it today. This is the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Eyeshadow Palette. My husband got this for me as one of my Valentine's Day gifts. I know! He knew that I had been wanting this palette for so long because this is something that I could see myself using weekly if I like the formula, which of course I have heard we have been interrupted by Oliver. You can't just show your tail, not your face. Say hi. Hi guys. My mama's gonna do her makeup. Okay, I need to stop. <laughs> I'll just talk to him like that for hours. But listen, I, I have been waiting so long to try Natasha Denona's eyeshadow palette. I love watching their content on TikTok and Instagram. I love watching her do makeup. I love the aesthetic of the brand. When I look at this palette, I just wanna, mm, like I don't wanna touch it because I don't wanna ruin it. But when I look at these shimmers, I just wanna touch all of them and put it all over my face. Also, the names are very pretty. Like sometimes eyeshadow names are a little random or a little too much for me, you know what I mean? A little too raunchy. Okay, so I'm gonna swatch Delilah first. I'm going in very gently. It felt like I had nothing on my finger. Like it was not chunky at all. Delilah is a beautiful light medium brown with white and silver shimmers. And when I compare the swatch to the pan, they look a little different, but not foreign to each other. Okay, I have to swatch this color. It's called Sheen. It looks like a very light champagne -y color. I'm gonna swatch one more and then we're gonna start doing the eye look because I am so excited to play with these. The last shimmer I'm going to swatch is the shade Muse. It looks different than the other shimmers. This actually looks like it's either going to be more glittery or more of a metallic formula. It feels thicker, so hopefully it's not clumpy, but we'll see. And this is the shade Muse. You're joking, you're joking. Guys, this is insane. I want this all over my body right now. I feel like it's definitely metallic. I'm gonna have to go on their page and look into that or go on their website. It definitely was thicker. It's definitely a different formula, but oh my gosh, it's still so buttery. You guys already know, I'm gonna prime my lids with the P. Louise Rumor 2 eyeshadow base. Ooh, wait a second. Okay, I finally bought those makeup tapes that people wear when they do eyeshadow. I bought them off of Amazon. It comes with six and they're pretty thick, okay? I know some of you are wishing I would tape my mouth, but I hate to break and sing it. It's gonna be my, my face. I think it's even. Is that even? <laughs> I just saw myself. I do not look well. Like, look at me. Okay, well at least I know that you can take them off and back on. My face is not symmetrical, like at all. Okay, that is as symmetrical as we're gonna get. I'm gonna go in with the shade Mesh. It's a really cool tone transition color and I'm gonna put that in my crease. I'm just using a fluffy brush. <gasps> oh my gosh. I've had a little booger this whole time. You guys are fake friends for not telling me for a go. Now you're gonna know I had a boogie. Now you're gonna go back. You're gonna you're gonna go back and you're gonna look at it the whole time. Apologies. There's another one! What the hell? This video is chaotic. Oliver's interrupting. My intrusive thoughts are interrupting. My yapping is interrupting. And my boogies are interrupting. Okay, we're safe. We're good. Proceed. These mattes are so easy to blend. It's very simple, light, and cool toned, which again, I'm not really used to cool toned looks on my lids, but I'm liking it so far. Now I'm gonna take the color next to it, which is called Tender. It's a deeper, cooler tone color, really good for the outer corner. So I'm just gonna take a different fluffy brush and focus on the outer corner of my lids. I'm gonna take a small packing brush and go into that same color and just make sure that it's packed closely to my lashes. Now taking a flat brush, I'm gonna take this really pretty beige shade called Fair and that's gonna go on the rest of my lid. I almost wanna go in with this shimmer shade Mia that I didn't swatch earlier. Let's swatch it real quick. That is so pretty. I feel like that's a perfect color for every day. That is stunning. Please tell me you can see that on camera. I feel so pretty and I haven't even done my face makeup yet. Yeah. 
And this is without any glitter glue, because you guys know I love my NYX glitter glue. I actually thought about using it on one eye to compare, but after I did this eye, I was like, yeah, it would enhance it a bit, but like, I don't think it really needs it. Should I peel it off this? No, probably this way, right? Oh, maybe not, I don't know. <gasps> That's so cute! I think I definitely should have gone more up. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, and this is the final look using the I Need a Nude palette from Natasha Denona. What do we think? What do we think about the eyes? What do we think about the lip combo? Okay, listen, I'm feeling good right now. For my lips, I use three different products. This is an eye pencil. However, I bought it thinking it was a lip pencil, so that's how I continue to use it. This is the NYX eye pencil in the shade Taupe. And then I put on some Ava Beauty Your Lips But Better in the shade Marvelous. Super juicy. And then I put a little bit of this in the center of my lips to lighten up the color because it was giving a little purplish. And I wanted to calm it down a bit for this look. This is the Wet n Wild Liquid Capsuit High Shine Lipstick in the shade Caught You Naked. I'm not gonna go into every product that I use on my face. However, feel free to ask me in the comments and I'll let you know. However, for my eyes, I did use the L'Oreal Paris Telescope Lip Mascara. I have been loving this lately. I feel like when I first tried it, I really loved it. But the more I use it, the more I love it. I am just so obsessed with this lately. It's so beautiful. My lashes just look so long and so dark. I did also pop on two Ardell Lash Trios in the size small, there's, or small, in the shade, in the shade, oh my gosh. In the size short, oh my gosh, listen, full lashes do not look great on me because the inner corner always pops up. I'm not good at applying that part of it. And then they're like wonky because my face is not symmetrical at all. Like that's not just a joke that I say, it's really, really not symmetrical. So that makes applying lashes it's very difficult because one eye is just always gonna look wonky. So what I have been loving are half lashes and lash trios. So how do I feel about this palette? These shimmers are the most buttery shimmers I have ever used. I really feel like I'm going to use this weekly. I just feel so pretty. The mattes were phenomenal. They blended themselves. They were so easy to work with. It's very, very beginner friendly. And like I said, these shimmers were out of this world. Thin, no clumps, no fallout, because you know, I go in with shimmers. And fallout's okay, like fallout's not a bad thing. It's just easier when there's none of it or little to none, you know? You don't want too much fallout, even though it's not a bad thing. I am so happy that I finally now have my first ever Natasha Denona palette. I had so much fun playing around with this. I cannot get over how amazing this formula is. I have to say this might be my favorite formula hands down. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I am so glad that you're here. If you're a new subscriber here, thank you for being here. There's a few of you. I appreciate you guys. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye.